Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. It's Marisa. In today's video, I am going to be using and testing these beautiful new Christmas molds I got from BB Craft. So if you want to see what I made with these beautiful molds, stay tuned and let's get started. Hey guys, so today I'm going to be using the ClearCast 7000 resin. It is a two-part resin and you use equal parts, equal parts A and B, resin and hardener. And here are the, some of the molds, the pyramid mold and the sphere. And here are these beautiful glitters from BB Craft and also these wonderful Christmas molds. I just love them. So let's get started. So today I am going to be using one of my favorite micas from Primal Flow, this beautiful gold and this beautiful emerald green. And I will also be using the Arteza in this pretty white color and this chocolate brown color. I'm also going to be using the Liquitex acrylic ink in this alizarin crimson color. So again, I'm using the ClearCast 7000. It is a really amazing resin, two parts. And I'm gonna be pouring one part in each cup. You need equal parts. So if you have one ounce of resin, you need one ounce of hardener. And then I'll be pouring in the smaller cups with the micas. So here is my resin poured out. And now it is time to mix. I'm going to be mixing in that cup, both parts. And here's the glitters already in the smaller cups, ready to go. I also put some glitter inside of these molds. And I took this paintbrush I used specifically for glitter and I just kind of dabbed it and tapped it in. And they stick perfectly on the molds. A pretty gold one and the pretty white one. I also put some glitters in the pink Christmas molds. You can also put glitter straight into the resin as well, but those are two different ways you can use your glitters. That's called a little pipette. You use them for smaller molds. It gets really into those crevices of the mold. So here are the colors, the white and the chocolate brown. So first you're going to take your hardener is first. You will pour that into the cup first. Just scrape it all out there. Then you're going to get your resin. And you scrape out as much as you can. Make sure you don't waste any of it. And then you slowly mix, scraping the bottom and the sides. And you do that for at least three to five minutes until the res... So now we are going to pour the resin mixture into the individual cups with all the micas. And if you're finding value out of this video, please hit subscribe and the notification bell so you never miss one of my videos. So we're going to continue just adding the resin to all of the colors. And then you're going to just mix very slowly. The video is just sped up a little bit. So you are going to mix it slowly because you don't want to create more bubbles in your resin and pigment mixture. So just mix slowly until you see it all dissolve. And now it's this beautiful golden color. 
Now, if it's a little too much pigment, you can add more clear resin. And now I'm going to mix the beautiful Lizard and Crimson uh, acrylic ink, and that does mix uh, quite quickly and well because it is not a powder. So now all of my colors are mixed and we have that beautiful emerald green ready to go. And now it's time to fill our molds. Now in one of these molds, I do over pour and that's okay. You know, mistakes happen and you're going to see a huge, huge mistake later in the video. I was so mad, but you know what? There is a lesson in it and I'm going to share that with you when we get to it. But if you do over pour and it does spill out on the sides of your mold, it is okay. You can just wipe it away. Um, before it sets or we call it curing so you do have about 40 minutes with this resin to work with it and after the 40 minutes it does start curing and usually it cures for about 24 hours um, to the touch so basically you can unmold it after 24 hours and the chemical reaction does take a couple of days to fully cure so here I did over pour a little bit and I just wiped it away and absolutely no big deal and I'm using that stick to get into all the little grooves but just be careful not to poke your mold so you don't make a hole in it but I'm kind of dragging it I'm not really poking it and I'm just getting it into all the little areas there So here, everything is poured, all the different colors, that gold, green, the white with the glitters, and here are all the Santa Claus molds and the sleigh and the reindeer. So all four of those molds are now done, and I'm really enjoying using them. They are quite small, and sometimes it can be a little difficult using small molds, but the end result, as you will see in a minute, is really wonderful so I'm really happy with them so now we're going on to the pyramid mold so here's the pyramid mold and this we're going to start off with a little a uh, lizard and crimson actually we're going to start off with the gold and we're also using the uh, lizard and crimson some white and I'm just kind of layering the colors together You can do layers. So basically you could put one color down first, let it cure for 24 hours, put another color down and let that cure for 24 hours. But I decided just to kind of, I like mixing my resins or just being very free with it and just see what happens. But you can do special layers where you just let it cure one layer at a time. So it's all separated. So we're going to add some more of that beautiful gold. And I'm just making some very free patterns there. And now I'm going to add some of that very pretty glitter. Now this glitter really is for nails, uh, used like a nail polish for nail uh, decorations, but you can use any glitter in paper crafting and in resin art. It doesn't have to be specific for resin. So now I'm just gonna mix that all together. And now it's time to heat it up a little bit to get any bubbles out. You definitely do not want bubbles in your resin because it will just ruin the whole look of it. So you just lightly heat it up. So now we come to the sphere. I have to say this mold was kind of difficult to work with. And you're going to see what happens in a minute. Um, this mold just didn't really work out for me. 
to say the least. Um, I'm just laughing because it just really didn't work out. And you're going to see in a minute. So I'm going to be quiet. But yeah, I'm pouring in the different colors. I did put some down in the bottom part first because I just wanted to see what I was doing. It was kind of hard to see what I was doing because I'm just kind of pouring it in. Um, so I did put the, I poured the bottom part first, then I put the lid on it. And if anyone out there has any tips for this mold, uh, because it was it was kind of hard to deal with so if anyone's used these types of mold before please reach out to me I am willing to learn so here's some clear resin right now I'm just filling up the rest of the mold Hey guys, I'm back. So, you know, the lesson here is uh, crap happens, you know, and this mold just really didn't work for me. It tipped over with a lot of vibration from my mother walking behind me. But the lesson is, you know what, stuff happens and you just start over again and it's okay to make a mistake. But these molds came out really beautiful. Um, everything else worked really, really well. The pyramid mold, all of the Christmas molds just came out very, very well. So there's no complaints there. Again, the pyramid mold was great, but this mold just didn't work for me. And again, the lesson is you start over and that's what I'm gonna do. Don't be afraid or don't give up. You know, don't be afraid to make a mistake. Um, things happen around you. Um, things don't work all the time. Just get up and do it again. Just start over. And that's what I'm doing. So here I am. I'm starting all over again. This time I put tape around the edges just to make sure that that mold stays secure and I'm using those glitters that aqua one and the gold one and I'm gonna be using the emerald green mica and again the alizarin crimson liquid the liquitex uh, ink and the white mica hey guys so I am back um, it is two days later and everything is cured. So I am going to unmold one of those because they're duplicates. So I'm going to unmold these and the, the reindeer is so adorable. Here's the little bell. Yeah, these molds are very detailed. Um, and really all the patterns came out beautifully. I'm really, really happy with these molds. Usually these pink molds really have beautiful detail look at that tree and you see all like the branches and all the textures very very pretty molds and you know you can use these for jewelry um what i am planning to do with them is use them for my paper crafts uh for embellishments um you know the holidays are coming up so i'm going to save these for like christmas cards and christmas projects Here's a little golden leaf there. The little candy cane came out adorable. And the Santa's, like the Santa head. And they're absolutely adorable. So I'm really, really happy with them. No complaints. I'm going to be using them for my paper crafts and maybe even in a painting. Just, you know, like holiday Christmas projects. And so here is the tree mold. So you can use these, honestly, you can use them for anything, especially the trees. You could make, you know, you can make a whole scene for a forest scene using these molds. Um, it doesn't have to be necessarily Christmas. So these are uh, really uh, multi-purpose molds, especially the tree one. But these are specifically for the holidays for Christmas. So, but these molds are absolutely 100% amazing and I highly recommend them just gorgeous so 
so let's unmold the pyramid next now basically what you have to do is just push from the bottom out in that center part there and these molds are a little harder to get out but actually you just put a little pressure and that's it now on the edges there there are like they're a little rough so you can just um, shave it down you could sand it down and that's actually what I did after I uh, unmolded it so that is the bottom part to the part that spilled so that actually came up pretty cool it's like a little diamond shape so please <laughs> I'm just praying that this works out So the top, so already I don't like it. Um, I took the tape off, no problem. But now, honestly, this bottom piece refuses to come out. I'm just taking that little piece off there. It is just refusing to come out. So I am going to take a break and try. Hey guys, so it really didn't work. It refused to come out. So, you know, that is unfortunate. But I have to say the rest of the mold set has been really great. The pyramid part was awesome. That bottom piece came out great with the diamond. But that whole sphere itself did not work for me. Um, everything else was amazing. Like I said, the pyramid came out beautifully. All the rest of the molds are just awesome. Um, no problems. They just pop right out. Very detailed. I just love them. And I will be using them a lot, you know, for the holidays. The glitters I highly recommend. Absolutely beautiful. I love the colors. Great set. These I have not used yet, but I am going to try them. I have a resin uh, review I'm going to be doing, and I will probably use those. But the whole set with the pyramid and the pendants are pretty cool. So I do recommend them. So thank you, BB Craft, for sponsoring another video. I just want to talk to you about their YouTube program. Um, all of the products will be in the link below. They are affiliate links just to be, you know, to let you guys know. But they have a YouTube program. So if you have at least 100 subscribers or more you can apply for their YouTube program and they get back to you very quickly I will link the website and all the products in the description below and thank you guys so much for watching today I hope you enjoyed and I will see you in the next one thanks BB craft bye Hey guys, I'm back. I almost forgot to tell you that if you wanted to save $5 on a purchase of $40 or more, you can use code WETPAINT5. It will be in the description as well. So don't forget, WETPAINT5. Thanks guys. Love you. Bye. Thank you.